go to the store, the girls send me a list of everything that they want from the store. They got candies and chips because we're supposed to go to the drive-in movie theater. So I am in a rush right now. And I'm like, can you clean up the kitchen? Because we're we making fried chicken, okay? Can you clean up the kitchen while I run to the store, get everything that's on your list so it's not clean this time? I come back. The counter's not wiped down. I don't care what nobody said. When you're on video, clean up your little surroundings, okay? So the counter's not wiped down. Floor's not swept. I know you can't see the floor, but still, you guys couldn't do that. But I could go to the store and get all the treats you want. Take you all the way to Austin for mukbanging for a burger. That's where we went for a burger. Then uh, planning other trips, I can't get a swept floor. You... you Anyway, hold on, I gotta yell at Clayton because his stuff is too loud. I'm on the set right now. Clayton? I'm on the set, please. Thank you, I appreciate it. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy from Only in Basil's World. I'm glad you have tuned in to join me. But today we are gonna be making some fried chicken. I know there are a lot of videos out there on fried chicken, but let me tell you, you know I make everything good. Everything, everything, everything is good. I'm in a rush. The girls and I are supposed to go to the drive-in. Let's see what Clint says, hold on. Hold on, okay, shh, quiet. Clinton! Would you like to come to the drive-in movie theater with us? No. Why, Clint? They're showing great movies. You don't want to come with us? Huh, Clinton? No. You sure? We would love for you to join us. So we're going to see Jurassic World and Break It with Gabrielle Union. I think it's called Break It, but Huntsy, you do what you got to do for your kids. Let me get to the chicken, okay? Okay, Cindy, um, let me... I don't know where to start because I am in a rush. Maybe I shouldn't do this today, but no, my chicken is good. And you're gonna need some oil. I just use some cheap oil. Why? Because I don't fry chicken all the time. I don't always live up to this stereotype, okay? <laughs> So anyway, use some oil. We don't fry all the time. I do have a fryer. I thought about bringing a fryer out, but when the fryer is out, the fryer stays out for several weeks because it uses a ton of oil. So we just fry, 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 and then we use up the um, oil, and then we just throw it away, and then we put the fryer away. The fryer might come out three times a year. So when it comes out, we're going for it, okay? Seriously. Stereotypes, stereotypes. Would you like to hold the camera? I'm going to shower. Okay. So what I did earlier in an earlier video, I soaked the chicken in salt water and vinegar. It does something to tenderize in the chicken. I typically do it with legs. Um, we're, do, we're having wingettes. It was in the fridge for about five hours. Then we took it out and we rinsed the chicken off. It makes your chicken so juicy and tender. Better believe me. Now let me show you the seasons. Look. Listen now, I can't tell you no amounts. I, I, my hand, my hand is like a little living human being with a brain on it. You can see, we use adobo. And my secret, and I'm gonna share with you my secret ingredient. So you got adobo, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, but my secret ingredient don't tell nobody I said this. So, so if you go to your little friend's house and you're trying to show off that you know how to make fried chicken, this is your secret ingredient, okay? I put this on all my meats. Sazon packets. I put it on everything. Here's the trick. You can't see the salt that you put on food, okay? You just can't see it. You can taste it, but you can't see it. So sometimes your chicken is hit or miss. So I'd rather go with a little less salt than I think because you just don't know. I don't like salty chicken. You can always add salt. You can add your little hot sauce, okay? You can always add it, but you can't take it away. So two, three things that you can use a lot of is the onion powder and the garlic powder, not garlic salt, not onion salt. 
okay? Because there's a difference. You got onion, salt, because that's, this is just. Okay, that's it. Your chicken is the bomb. Okay, now the other thing, what you're gonna need. Grocery bag! I usually double the bag. Double your bag, Mo. Double your bags. Double your bag. Then you put flour in your bag. We're not making a batter. You can go to Popeye's and get your extra crispy chicken from Popeye's or whatever place you go to where you get extra crispy battered chicken. We're not doing that. We're doing regular home style fried chicken. Sometimes I don't want all the batter. Sometimes I do, especially when Popeye's is having a 99 cent day on a chicken, then I go get that chicken. But sometimes I want good homemade home style chicken which is not heavily battered, okay? That's how I grew up. So, you put some flour in your bag. I don't know, we probably got about 20, 25 pieces of um, wingettes. Put your flour, put three cups of flour in your bag. Then you're gonna put one packet of Sazon in the bag. You kinda open it and pour it in, okay? And I put a little onion powder, garlic powder in with my flour, and I put some adobo. So I season the chicken with a little bit of adobo, and I also season my flour. Everything that I put on a chicken, I put in the flour. So you're really gonna get some flavor. Okay, like I say, you can go crazy with the onion powder and the garlic powder. Put as much as you want, cause it'll give it that flavor. So th those are freebies, okay? But, but the adobo, no bueno. But the adobo, no bueno. No bueno! Okay, so I'm just gonna have you watch me seasoning chicken. I'm gonna also start to heat up my grease, cause like I said, I wanna make it to the movie theater. So I have about um three hours. Ooh, let me get some shit. You know my brain will be working right on. Sometimes it's all over the place with this ADHD. So you guys gotta be patient with me, okay? And be patient with me. Let me see. I gotta write this stuff down because I just don't know. That's how old people do it. Okay, let me see. stick around a little while how about that and I don't have cute pots and pans okay I have pans that are lived in not, not pans like they just came from the stove and I decided to make you some no these are used pans I've been using them for several years so they look used but they clean okay this is real life this is not oh I, I, I'm making tons of money and I get new pans every month no and then after I make chicken I always spray my counters and sink down with the disinfectant spray don't forget that can y'all see that can you see that? Okay.
Heating up. This is a cast iron pan, and I had a little bit of leftover oil. That's why you see those little things at the bottom. So I used my little leftover oil, and then I added extra. So, story time. So as we're waiting for the oil to heat up, um, and I put everything to the side because I want to wipe everything down because I didn't handle the chicken. So even when you use your seasonings and you handle the chicken, you should wipe all your containers down too. That's a step that a lot of people forget. So I'm not gonna put those away yet. So child, let me tell you. The oil, and I can tell when my oil is hot. Another thing you can do, you can take a pinch of the flour that's in your chicken bag and sprinkle it in the oil. If it's just the flour, not water, okay? And you sprinkle it in your flour and it'll sizzle up when it's ready. I told you, I'll make everything good. But let me tell you, wait, 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 because this is going to take a minute. Okay, 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 okay. So, anyway. You know, there was one point in my life I thought I was going to be a star. A star. I really did. That didn't happen. So I used to have a business where I would do graphic design. I could take anything with the wrapper and I could personalize that wrapper with your photo, with happy birthday, with your company logo. So I've been doing graphic design for eight years. So Photoshop is like an extension of my own. I love my Photoshop and Photoshop is such a powerful program that some people say it takes a lifetime to learn. I'm still learning, but I, I could work it, honey. And I branched off into a product. Um, it's called Hair Candy, where you take real candy, certain pieces of candy, and you make barrettes. The candy is treated with a special solution so you don't have to worry about it melting, getting into your child's hair. And I did recommend age from five to about 10. So my girls were my contacted me I was like Wee! and it was a promoter from Hollywood I was like me so what they what they do is they try to look for businesses who had a wow product I'm a wow person you may not know it yet but I, I think y'all figuring it out seriously seriously and so they were looking for people with a wow product and I had that wow product how many people walking around with candy in their hair candy that doesn't melt in your hair and you can wear it and sport it like you just don't care. <laughs> and so they invited me to Hollywood to attend the Disney Teen Choice Awards and the MTV Movie Awards gifting suite. So it's the event just before the event. So let's just say the MTV Movie Awards was Saturday, so the gifting suite will be on a Friday. And that's where all types of celebrities would come and get free product. But the thing is, Although you're, you're giving your product away, um, they sign off the rights. I can use those pictures to use any way I can. So, okay, but baby, people were waiting in line. And I always do a fabulous display, honey. My display's always lovely, honey. Like I said, I can make anything look cute. The celebrities were waiting in line for me. Role, I was invited and I was like if I go back in third year a they're gonna have to pay me to go out there and I'm gonna have to have security it was insane so I was like I would have to rope off my area that's how insane this event was for me <laughs> talking about a wild product but let me go check that oil okay let me show you the, the, the test I told you about so I'm going to the bottom of my bag and I have a pinch of sugar 
See, that's a pretty good sizzle right there. That's a good sizzle. So I'm gonna shake off the chicken, shake off any excess, and just put it in there. And so you don't mess up your stove, you can use a splatter screen. This is called a splatter screen. And if you're afraid of the chicken, because this is really popping, my grease has probably got too hot, talking so much. I have to dump my chicken in and put my splatter screen. And it's less mess to clean up. Please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like my story time, let me know if you like that stuff. I don't know, I'm trying to give you, you know, what you want to hear, I'm trying to be true to myself as well, but I'm not young. I can't be doing all those pranks and all that jumping off stuff. I'm not doing that, okay? Y'all can go to other channels for that, okay? I'm not doing that here. Fine, okay? Seriously, I'm too old for that, honey. I'm too old. Gotta protect these little bones. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I still can't get this. Do that at the same time. I gotta concentrate. Okay. Here we go. Child, this popped off. Let me stop playing with y'all. Ah. Okay, let's look at the chicken. Almost made all the chicken fall down. Playing with y'all. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. See if I can get a closer for y'all. Anyway, Bobby's trying to chicken. I'm gonna try the chicken. So how is it, Bobby? Really good. Lots of flavor. Very juicy. So why weren't you down here to make the chicken? Because I'm fixing up to be sin house. <laughs> a sin house? What? What's a sin? It's too much. Is it Fortnite? <laughs> you you play Fortnite too? Yeah. It's too much. Let me try the chicken. I'll tell you. It's still hot. Isn't it hot? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, baby. <coughs> Ooh. Look at that. Go. Anyway, the chicken is crunchy on the outside, but not like a batter. You taste some chicken, okay? And the flavoring is on point. That's got to be good. Gosh, I wish you guys could taste this. The flavoring is great. It's not dry because remember we soaked the chicken. Whoo! Hot. Mmm. Mmm. You need to let mom bath and make y'all some fried chicken, honey. Try it. And you can put paprika on it. Mm. The flavor in this is the bomb. Another way you know a real chicken eater? They don't leave nothing on the bone. You can even eat that gristle part. The little gristle part on this part. That's how good, child. This chicken's so good, you don't want to add hot sauce. You don't need nothing to distract from the good flavor of the chicken. You see how clean this bone is? That's clean. Mmm.
baby. Better believe me, this is a bomb, honey. My seasoning and about five minutes on each side. This is my favorite piece. Um, it's called the flat. Let me tell you, if you like this video like I said, give it a thumb up, like, comment, and share, please. Can you share? Somebody who needs to know how to fry fried chicken, you may want to share this video with them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want to share because the chicken is good. Are you mentally sick right now? Mmm. Hey. Mmm. 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 I gotta turn the chicken over. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know what the soda is. I want this piece. Yummy. <laughs>